This time we visited Burnham, which is about 12 miles north of Perth. It's very small, but has links to two literary greats, Beatrix Potter and William Shakespeare. Arriving in Burnham at about 8 in the morning, Benjamin Bunny travelled in a covered basket. Beatrix Potter would often come on holiday to Scotland and she stayed at Eastwood House, which is the lovely big house you can see across the River Tay there. I think it's technically in Dunkeld, it's just across the road from Burnham. Um, so while she was there, she heard that Noel Moore, the son of her governess, wasn't very well and she decided to sit down and write him a story. And that story was Peter Rabbit. A couple of days later, she felt a bit guilty because she realized that she hadn't written anything for his brother, Eric. So she sat down again and she wrote him the wonderful tale of Jeremy Fisher. Two very lucky boys. When we visited Burnham, we went to the Burnham Arts Centre and right next door is this lovely little garden that you can see in the video just now. And in the garden, you'll find the statues of many of the characters that Beatrix Potter wrote about. So if your children are familiar with her stories, then they will love to go on a little adventure and see if they can find all the characters in the garden. We discovered you don't actually have to pay anything to go into the art gallery or the gift shop or the cafe, but if you want to visit the Beatrix Potter exhibition, it's £3.50 for an adult and £2.50 for a child. There's some really interesting bits of information that I didn't realise about Beatrix Potter. Um, for instance, she continued her love of the natural world by doing a scientific study when she was 21 on fungus and investigated how their spores germinate. Um, she continued her studies for 13 years and scientists today say that her findings were actually really ahead of their time. The images that you're seeing at the moment of mushrooms and fungus are actually ones that John took when we've been out in walks. He seems to have a good eye for taking beautiful pictures of the natural world. We can never resist visiting the cafe when we go places so we stopped in for some tea and cake and then headed up to the gallery. There is a beautiful big panoramic window with some fantastic views up there and obviously fantastic artwork and um, information about the use of natural dyes. There's a gorgeous little gift shop filled with Beatrix Potter merchandise and also some lovely candles and um, you know specialist products. The table you're seeing here was actually from one of the houses that Beatrix Potter used to holiday in. Once we got home I took some inspiration from Beatrix Potter's drawings and also from our own beautiful little bunny Bella and decided to do a little painting. Nowhere near Beatrix Potter's standards but it's just enjoyable sometimes to be creative and um, you know look at the natural world and all its beauty. Shakespeare wrote about Burnham in his play Macbeth when the witches say Fear not till Burnham Wood do come to Dunsinane. Now Macbeth thought, oh he had nothing to worry about because trees don't walk and forests can't just relocate themselves. However, the Burnham Wood does in fact come to Dunsinane because Macduff's army cuts down the trees and uses them for cover as they move to Dunsinane. 
The Burnham Oak is thought to be the sole surviving tree of the great forest that Shakespeare spoke about in Macbeth and you can actually go and visit that tree in Burnham. One of the branches you'll see is actually held up by a crutch um, so the tree is needing a lot of support from the um, Perth and Cross Countryside Trust and you can actually help them by donating some money to help secure that last fragment of Burnham Wood. Of course we had to visit the Burnham Reader, which is Burnham's independent bookshop. It sells a mixture of second-hand books and also classical music and folk music. I found a book for my mum for Mother's Day. It was an Alexander McCall Smith book and it's called Tea Time for the Traditionally Built. The number one ladies detective agency books are some of the best books I've ever read. I love them and I could read them over and over. There's also actually a little TV series that um, is really well put together. John was delighted because at the back of the shop there is a section on philosophy and that's what he studied at uni. So he was um, really happy looking through all those books. We finished the day with a fish supper at the Tunkeld Fish Bar. Now, Scotland's famous for its chippies and this is one of the best ones we've ever been to. We've been a few times and the owner is always really friendly and accommodating, um, especially for John because he's gluten free. The boys tried um, fried Mars bar for the first time and were very, very happy with the experience. We would definitely recommend the Dunkeld Fish Bar if you're in the area.